Diabetes affects around 9% of the U.S. population, and currently, there are very few options for non-invasive detection of glucose in patients with diabetes. As of right now, the best methods for blood glucose detection are ketone blood monitors and urine test strips. However, ketone blood monitors often cause the user discomfort. This is due to the invasive nature of the device's needle. Urine test strips are sometimes unreliable and very unhygienic. Therefore, we need a quick, efficient, and non-invasive method to detect an indicator of glucose levels within the blood. Behold, the sugar flow device. This device detects VOC concentration within the breath. VOC concentration was shown to have a high correlation with blood sugar concentration. Here's a demo to show you how this device works. Welcome to the sugar flow user interface. At the top left is a COM port display, which establishes a connection between the device and lab view. Below that, you can see the start data collection button that initiates the code execution. An average VOC concentration will be displayed on the screen via either red, yellow, or green LEDs. The LEDs on the device, however, will reflect real-time concentrations and return the average at the end of the program. The LEDs in the user interface will also be accompanied by a message to delimit the risk of hyperglycemia. Once the program has run its course, the user has the choice to press finish viewing results or allow the program to time out. In either case, a .txt file will be automatically generated and emailed to the user's clinician. Here's an example of low VOC concentration. As you can see, Clara has hit the start data collection button. This initializes a 15 second time period where the device is getting ready to collect data. After this time period's up, the UI tells the user to start blowing into the device. The device is also indicating the real-time concentration of VOCs within the breath. This happens for eight seconds before giving a final concentration reading. And it looks like Claire is not hyperglycemic. After pressing finish viewing results, a .txt file with all the concentrations will be sent to her clinician automatically. Here's an example of high VOC concentration. The initialization time is once again commenced. A paper towel treated with acetone has been placed next to the sensor to simulate an individual with high VOC concentration. As you can see, the LED quickly turns red. This denotes a large concentration of VOCs within the breath. And just like the device indicated, the UI shows that there is a high level of VOCs. This also indicates that there is a high risk of hyperglycemia. Once again, a .txt file will be sent to the user's clinician. This happens after the user is prompted by the UI to enter the email. The VOC concentration data will then be averaged and logged by SugarFlow onto the SugarFlow website. The user will then have the choice of viewing the results from the current day all the way up to six months ago. They also have the option to view the results in a chart format or a line graph format. In either case, all instances of high VOC concentration will be highlighted under the figure. And lastly, the user has the option to contact their healthcare provider by email or by phone number. Thank you for experiencing SugarFlow and fight on.